hello friends welcome back to my channel in the last tutorial we have seen the procedure for dockerizing a node.js web app okay. in uh, uh, running this node.js app on docker we have seen uh, uh, a tutorial where i have created a node.js and express app and we have seen how to dockerize it right so if you have not seen that uh, video i have given the video link in the in this video description so please have a look there so this will be a continuation of that so in this tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to have a node.js and also ngnx as a reverse proxy on docker okay so what we're going to do is we'll see the complete procedure of dockerizing a node.js web app and we will have ngnx as a reverse pro proxy in front of this node.js app using docker so all those things we will do is uh, do it in docker okay so we'll be running node.js and express on docker and we'll be also running ngnx on docker and uh, uh, the users who are connecting from internet or accessing the node.js app they'll be accessing uh, first to the ngnx uh, uh, page so the ngnx will contact the node.js web app and we'll be getting the output for the users okay so then ngnx will be the front end uh, for these uh, users who are accessing the app in the node.js okay so the procedure uh, to do this node.js and ngnx uh, in docker container okay so uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating docker file we'll be doing the docker build docker deploy right so the same similar procedure so the procedure is going to be almost same so we'll have a uh, node.js and express uh, are running on docker and also ngnx on docker okay so to do that what we will do is we'll create a docker file right we'll be writing the docker file for creating this uh, images uh, for uh, both we'll have separate images one for uh, node.js express app another one for ngnx okay and once we create the images we'll be creating the docker container for both these uh, uh, applications like node.js and express as one container and ngnx as another container and um, if you don't know what is ngnx uh, and why it is used as a reverse proxy okay so just give a small uh, detail so what do you mean by reverse proxy is that you know uh, a reverse proxy sits in front of a group of web servers in our case is the node.js right and when user makes a http request to a web browser uh, the access the request will go to the reverse proxy first then it will send the request to the ngnx or other web appropriate web server and the content will be displayed to the end user okay so why we have to use this so the using reverse proxy the main benefit is security right so with the reverse proxy what happens is that the web server which is running on the back end of this nginx it's never reveals it's the real ip address for the client which is trying to access this web server so in our case it's the node.js right so which makes that node.js web server more secure and the other benefit of running this uh, reverse proxy is the issue load balancing. So just consider like if you have a, you know, a web page or a Node.js app which is running and if you have multiple users accessing, uh, you can have multiple uh, NGNX running on the back, uh, back end. But however, on the front end, you can have uh, you know, a single NGNX and the back end, we have uh, multiple Node.js apps, right? So even though the traffic is uh, coming to a single NGNX, on the back end we will have uh, multiple uh, you know uh, node.js or other apps which can distribute the load okay so uh, before i get into the real uh, process of uh, creating the docker image docker containers uh, i would request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so kindly like this video share and comment if you have seen my previous tutorial we have used this uh, app uh, node uh, docker app okay which i have already cloned to my docker machine so i have this no, no, no docker app so if i go there you can see the files like uh, node modules package.json route right so uh, let me go to the apps okay so this is the app uh, which uh, simple app okay it's not too much there so i have a uh, express i'm using the express okay i'm using a middle world like a hogan uh, okay, and what uh, we are doing also we have a view engine called mustache and uh, we have some uh, uh, post uh, request. Okay, so I'm going to say its IP address is uh, 192.68.0.0.101 which is my host IP address but when it comes to docker I'll be changing this to 0 .0 .0, uh, 0 0.0.0 uh, something like this. Okay, so for docker it will be like this. 
So we will see, uh, you know, this package.json, this is a package.json, which will be used to install the application, okay. And I have one uh, home.mustache file where I have uh, some uh, forms, okay, in here. So that is all, uh, it's there, okay. So let me go to the file here. So if I go to the app.js, if you can see the host is 0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0, which I mentioned, and the port is 888, okay. Okay, let me clear out the screen. Okay, so the first thing is like we need to create a docker file to create the node.js app right so let me create a file called docker file okay and uh, let me go to my text editor and uh, this will be the docker file which i have uh, shown in my previous tutorial okay uh, since i'm creating the docker file inside the same node uh, app i have uh, using the dot slash otherwise it will be if it's outside of that it will be dot slash node app underscore uh, you know, app uh, in the package.json that's how i used in the last tutorial here it'd be like a dot slash okay so uh, to give a, a description like we are setting the work directory okay uh, as a user uh, src app okay and i'm going to copy this package.json and uh, uh, package.log.json to this uh, location and i'm going to run npm install okay so the npm install will uh, install these node modules okay so why I'm doing it because I already have created uh, another file called uh, let me exit from this okay let's say from a you can see there is something called docker ignore right so if I read this uh, you can see I have ignored docker modules and npm.log uh, when we are running the docker uh, file okay so it will not um, copy those content into the docker uh, uh, image okay so it will uh, install the npm and then it will do it so uh, let it install run uh, npm install then i will copy the whole content uh, other files uh, into this location and i'm going to expose this port and i'm going to say run this okay so let me copy this content and uh, let me create a docker file okay and i'm going to paste this here okay and i'm going to save this so we have a docker file here okay now the next step is we need to create a docker image okay so in order to do, okay, create a docker image for uh, node.js i'm going to call docker build hyphen t okay and i'm going to call this as the tips for you slash node.js app okay and the uh, docker file is in this same folder so it should be dot okay so let me run this since i already have the node uh, image it's uh, directly going for uh, creating it otherwise you know it will be downloading the you know docker uh, image for uh, uh, node okay so i think it's done so let me clear out the screen and let me see docker images you can see there is a docker image for uh, node.js app right so in order to create the container for node.js so we need to use the image we created so it will be docker run hyphen d and the port number should be 88 and 888 and i'm going to call this uh, as uh, node.js server okay so why it's because you know this name i will be using for uh, linking with the nginx okay so just give a name for this image uh, container okay and the uh, image should be tips for you slash uh, node.js app right okay so you can see docker ps you can see the container is uh, running now if i see my ip address okay where is it Okay, this is my IP address. Okay, let me go to the browser. If I put the IP address and 888, you can see my uh, Node.js, right? Hello from Node.js using Node mode. And there is one more uh, thing called home. So you can see I'm also getting that uh, form, right? So, but you can see this, I'm using this port 888, right? So if I run this just IP address, nothing happens, right? Because uh, it's the uh, same like port 80, okay? So which I cannot run it. 
So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to create uh, in JNX and I'm going to change this port uh, mapping from 888 to port 80. Okay. So in order to create this in JNX uh, image, I need uh, two things. One is the Docker file. Okay. So the Docker file I'm going to say in JNX uh, image. Okay, and I'm going to copy uh, something called default.conf to this location etc and genxconf.d right so this default.conf is where we are going to define which server it has to uh, connect okay so i'm uh, return the default.conf uh, so this is the default.conf uh, so these are all uh, standard uh, settings only thing what we have to add is this uh, proxy pass and this http and this is coming from my you know node.js uh, container right i given the name as uh, node.js server and the port is 888 right so if i go here docker ps you can see this is my name of the container right so that's what i said to give a name for the container so if you are given some other name just give that name and the port number which we have used okay so that is all uh, with respect to this nginx so let me copy this okay let me go to this uh, location let me go out i have a another folder which I created I'll go to nginx folder and let me create a, a file called default.conf okay and let me paste this content there and let me save this okay so you have the default.conf and let me cre create a docker file here as well okay and I'm going to come to the sublime text I'm going to copy this uh, um, docker file as well so don't worry i will share all this uh, in my github location so you can go there and you can download it from there okay so let me say this let me run this okay okay so you can see there is one for default.conf another one is for docker file now let's create the docker image for nginx so i'm going to call docker build hint and it's going to be again the tips for you slash nginx proxy and uh, it's going to be in this folder right okay so let's run this so you can see it's all also has created since the nginx image is already there it has directly gone there otherwise it will uh, start downloading the nginx image okay so you can see there is one for nginx proxy as well in the image right that's one we have created before okay so now let's create the container so it should be docker one hd okay Okay, and I'm going to use port 80 here. Okay, if you want the some other port in the local machine, you can change it here. Okay, and so next port should be 80. Okay, and I'm going to link uh, the other container for Node.js, which should be Node.js server, right? And I'm going to give a name for this container as nginx proxy and uh, in image should be the tips for you slash ng and next proxy okay so let's run this now we have a container created for nginx as well okay so let me go to the browser okay let me go to the browser okay and now we see this was the previous uh, thing right now if i remove these ports and uh, if i run just run the ip address you can see still i'm getting this page right what actually is happening is now it's all it's almost similar like uh, port 80 okay so if you run this it's actually trying to reroute it to the uh, other uh, ip address uh, with 888 so it's uh, the same which is doing uh, with the reverse proxy okay uh, so just remove this and say home see it's almost it's exactly the same right whether you put uh, in the node.js like 888 and home right so what happened is now the nginx is routing uh, the connection to that if you just put the ip address in home so that is what uh, the benefit of nginx reverse proxy now right because uh, in the front end you are seeing only a uh, different ip address since uh, we are running both on the same uh, you know docker machine it's the same ip address if it's a different uh, machine with nginx we will see a different ip here but uh, ultimately it will route to the uh, other you know um, node.js app uh, on the back end okay so that's the benefit of it 
So we have seen like how to write this Docker file, right? So both for uh, Node and also for nginx, right? Default.conf, right? So all these uh, details I will give it in the GitHub and you can download it from there. Okay. So I hope uh, we have seen how to uh, write the Docker file, right? To create the Docker image and also run the Docker container, right? So in this one, in this tutorial, we did it separate, uh, separate containers, right? For nginx and also for Node.js. Uh, in the upcoming tutorial, we create a Docker Compose file, so we don't have to separately create the Docker, uh, you know, uh, containers and then uh, link it. We will do it in the same Compose file. So with just uh, one Compose up, you will have both uh, running. So we'll see that in the upcoming tutorial. So I hope uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching, kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, share and comment.